بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين القدوس السلام الرزاق الكريم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ربي لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد إخوتي في الله All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I praise him praise worthy of his loftiness and his supremacy and his greatness and I thank him for the countless favors he has restored upon us the greatest of them is the ni'mah of Islam. Then I thank him subhanahu wa ta'ala who has facilitated for me this trip to my brothers here at this masjid, Masjid Uqba, Cleveland, Ohio. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward them in their affairs, to bless them in their wealth, in their health, and in their family. Iqbati fillah. We're approaching a blessed month, the month of Ramadan. And it's important. And the things that we do over and over and over and over again, that they remain ibadah, that they don't become ada. Ada means that it's a custom. That you do it without even thinking. You know, you just do it. You just, you know, you just fall in line. It doesn't do it without need, you do it without for sure, you do it without concentration. Because you just do it so much. Uh -huh. So this is the benefit of Nasiha with Tathkira. This is the benefit of having speeches and reminders of this nature so that we can get out of the routine of our ibadah. And because of that, <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shara, Allah legislated what the ulama they call a tanawwa fil ibadat. That there's different kinds of ibadat, there's different kinds of ways that you can worship Allah in your regular everyday worship. <clears throat> so that it doesn't become a custom that you do without contemplating. For example, Many of us, after reading Fatiha, we might not contemplate on the surah that we want to read after Fatiha. Habitually, we might say, Ghayr maktubi alayhum la dhaleen, ameen, bismillahirrahmanirrahim, wal asr. And we just jump straight into asr. We didn't, we didn't think. I'm not going to say, Qul huwa ahad. I'm going to say what Tini was a tune. Because it's, we do it so much. That all the sores that we have to choose from, now it became a habit. It just became a habit. Nah. So what do you think about Ramadan? Um, how many Ramadans? It's not our first Ramadan. Remember, remember your first Ramadan? That when you was, I'm sure you was watching this and looking about that and like that. But when, when, when you do this, for example, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he taught several dua istiftah. Tell you, what's your name? What's your name? Hata. Hayat Allah. Kayf alakat. Bukhaya. What is dua istiftah? When, when you say that in the Salah, dua istiftah. Tayyip, what's your name, Akhi? What's your name? Jumeir. Dumeir. Numeir. Tayyip, do I have to stop? Listen, listen, listen. The ni'mah is in, the ni'mah of Barakah is in the one that you don't get right. The answer that you don't get right, those are the ones you remember the rest of your life. The ones that you raised and you got right, 
That's not the bar. That, you, know, you don't get it. You already know that. And now everybody knows that you know it. It's no thing. But the ones that you don't know, it's no shame. That's the point that I'm asking. So that it could be a learning experience. Nah. I have you No, I, I, I want you to do, tell us. When, when you say do I stiff time? At the beginning, you say Allahu Akbar. Say subhanakallah. Afnan. You know that hadith there? Subhanakallah, you know that dua? Man sahabi. Man sahabi of that. Umar. You all know Umar, man. Tayyab Yaqasim. You know that hadith. And you know Umar. Finish. Yabba Kareem. You with me? You know that hadith. And you know Umar. Now that's one hadith that we're all familiar with. But there are other hadiths. So that when you come in Salah, you say, Allah Akbar subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, you're going to say Allah Akbar. You have like four or five hadiths. Your choice there. Your choice. You're going to stop and you're going to think. It's not going to be just a regular routine. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, I'm quiet. Because I want you to get in the habit. When somebody says, the prophet used to say that you put your listening ears on, I want you all to memorize it one time. I'm going to say it one time, and I want to find who memorizes it. We have some seen Sahaba and some memorize the khutbah of the prophet, what he said in the khutbah. They had their listening ears on. Hey, just one dua. Just one dua. Ayatollah of Zemmin. Sound like it. For him now, you understand what I'm saying? When you hear somebody say, the prophet said, you need to sit and back. They ask me, who's the Sahabi? Who's the companion? I don't know. No, when this, when this, the prophet said, that, when this is close. The prophet said, Allah, I need some used to say, Allahu Akbar, Kabir. Alhamdulillah, Kabir. Wa subhanallah. Bukratan wa asir. That's easy. Man hafidha. You memorize it, Daffy? Who memorized it? Taib, and the Gashin. Allah, what? 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 Kabir. Kabir. See, now, listen, 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 listen. Listen to this. Everybody heard the hadith. And some of them weren't sure if they had, or if they didn't have it, right? Sheikh thought he had it, but he didn't have it. But he thought he had it. So he tried. Y'all didn't try. What's the difference? He tried, y'all didn't try. And I got his back. So he got the reward. Just raise your hand. I'm going to help you. I'm not going to pop you upside your head. So you got the wrong answer. No, just try. Listen. You can't lose. Y'all be kidding. You can't lose. Raise your hand all the time. The ones you get wrong, you're going to benefit from it. Raise your hand. I remember this. Allahu Akbar Kabir. We know Allah Akbar. We have Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar Kabir. Alhamdulillah. Kithir. Subhanallah. Bukratan wa asir. The Prophet used to say that sometimes. He said, Allahu Akbar. He used to say. Sometimes he said, Alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi. Simple. Alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi. This is what you call a tanawwa fil ibadat. So now when you come to the salah, you can say, subhanakallah, you can say that you can say that at law, at asr, you say this, at maghrib, you might say that one, your sunnahs, you might say that one. Tayyib, and I'm going to talk about fasting. We want fikum, We want to get the barakah of fasting. Ramadan's coming. 
everybody expects what they expect from Ramadan. This year I want this. This year I want that. Tired. But the question is, what does Allah want from you? What, what does Allah expect of you? Everybody has to contemplate about this. Not just what you want from Ramadan, but what you expect to do. But what does Allah expect from you? Why did he legislate this fast? Uh, and what does Saum mean? Uh, so we first just want to understand that this is a, this is a, this is a, Al-Waqt Mubarak is a blessed, blessed month. Well, Barakah, this word Barakah means Khair Ilah is divine good, it's goodness from Allah. So how do you get Barakah? How, how do you get Barakah? We say these words all the time, we give Mahasana, we give some Barakah. We say these words, ikhlas, sabr, we say these words all the time. We say these words, but what do they mean? Shara'an. What do they actually mean when it says sabr? What does that mean? No, what does Allah mean when it says sabr? What, what, what's, what's the legislative intent? You have to go. So, how do we get barakah? You have to take tamas and makan samad. You have to try to catch it in the place and the time of it. The place and the time. You have to tahara. You have to like seek that place and that time. For example, let's look at barakah that's in a place that many of us overlook. Ja'a and Ibn Abbas. عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الحديث عند الإمام أحمد البركة تنزل وسط الطعام فكلوا من حافتيها ولا تأكلوا وسط جبال the barakah it comes down in the middle of the food so eat from the ends of the food so it can keep on coming down don't eat in the middle of it and just cut it off as long as there's food still in the middle, barakah is going to keep coming down. min hafateha. Eat from the sides of it. So the barakah can keep coming down on your food. We eat every day. How do you get barakah from your food? Tatahara. You look for that. Look for that. Another thing that's barakah in it, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in hadith you all are familiar with, <laughs> No people gather in the house in the houses of Allah. Get luna kitab Allah, reciting the book of Allah. And studying it together amongst themselves. No people do that in the house of Allah. Except that Sakina comes down upon them. Tie up. Go anywhere you want to go. Where are you going to find some skin to come down? Maybe in your own house. Where are you going to go? You going to go to the park? You going to go to the swimming pool? Where are you going to get the skin from Allah? It's, it's, it's in this place. You can't get it nowhere else. إِلَّا نَزَلَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ مُسْسَكِينَ The skin come down. وَغَشْيَتْهُمْ الرَّحْمَةِ And the rahma of Allah covers them. وَحَفَّتْهُمْ الْمَلَائِكَةِ And the malaika surround them, protecting them. Where are you going to go? So a barakah is something that you have to look at the time and place where it's at and get it. You can't just be moving around and just say, yeah, I want to get the barakah, I want to get the hasanat. You have to know. You have to know where it is and when it is to know. Sometimes the, the place is, is, is not moving. It's, it's, tang, it's, not, it's not tang. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, aqrabu, the closest that the servant is to his Lord when he's in sujood. That's a place. You might be in sujood with your face on the floor. You might be in sujood when you're sitting in the chair because you're not able to make it. You might be in sujood while you're laying on your back, laying on your side while you're not. Nah. 
This is the closest that you can be to your Lord. Fetch Tahitin fit to us. So at that place and time, work hard and make in dua. If I ask one of you all, it's just a rhetorical question, nobody answers. What's your favorite dua that you like to make in Sujud? My favorite dua? I don't know. Don't you have a favorite dua that you love the most? It's your favorite. I'm sorry, I think. Not so. Don't, don't, um, don't. Don't say that. Don't feel. Barakalas. Tayyip. Now we want to look at the baraka according to our place. We're going to look at it during the time. During the time. You all heard these hadiths. But this is just a reminder. Ja'a came on a number of the companions that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. ينزل ربنا كل ليلة إلى سماء الدنيا حين يبقى ثلث الليل آخر فيقول من يدعوني فأستجيب له من يسألني فأعطيه من يستغفر لي فأغفر له Our Lord every single night he descends he comes down to the سماء الدنيا to the slowest sky here one third of the night remains. Every single night. It's a time. It's a time. He says, who's calling me so I can answer him? You're sleeping. You're busy working. Who's asking me for something so I can give him? Who's seeking my forgiveness so I can give him? It's a time. It's a, it's a blessed time. We have blessed places, blessed time. That time, you have to be there and you have to get it. Get it. Three hadith after, and the Bible said, Allah, Ali, was some part of hadith, and Anis, Rodi Allah, and who? Maju Raddu, Ad Dua, Bain al Ahdan, Wal Iqam. The Dua is not rejected. That's between Adan and Iqam. It's not rejected. I, I, I want us to picture. How many people we see in the masjid between Adhan and Iqamah, they have their hands up and they're making dua and they're making dua and they're making dua. We don't see it. We don't see it. Seldomly do we see somebody raise their hands and the dua is not projected during that time. It's like a little window, a short time. What is it, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. And you have problems in your life. You have goals that you want to attain. You have debts that you want to pay. You have problems. You, you, you have the best for your children. You have your health. You have your wealth. You have all kinds of things. But the most thing you do, you just you might complain it to somebody. Man, I can't get this thing done. We're doing this. We're trying to do this. We're trying to do that. Man, I wish. I want. I, want, I, want, I, hope, I hope that Allah bless me. Yeah, man, Allah bless you. Don't get the barakah. Look at the time. Uh, look at the time, look at the place. One man had it got a card, Shahram. Shahram. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Shayateen. When Ramadan comes, the gates of Jannah, the doors of Jannah are open. And the doors of the hellfire are closed. And the shayateen are chained and locked up. And the Azamati has a shayfat just for the greatness and the herma and the sacredness of this month. It's a blessed time. It's a blessed time. So when that's, when that's the case, we want to get the most benefit that we can. So now that we're in the, we're in the month of Ramadan, it's a blessed time, 30 days. How are we going to get the blessing? We're going to know what Allah shara, what he legislated and why he legislated it. So we can obtain the barakah and hasanat during this month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hameen wal kitab al mubeen inna anzalnahu fi laylatin Allah says, Hameen, he swears by 
the noble book, we sent it down on a blessed night. Mubarak, a blessed night. Laylatul Qadr. It's a blessed night. The Quran came down at a blessed time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. We sent it down on the, on the Laylatul Qadr. Wama adaraka ma Laylatul Qadr. And what is it that's going to make you know what Laylatul Qadr is? This question, this question from Allah is just to raise your attention and make it alim. That is something that's, that's big. Like if I said to you all, this is Muhammad. Do you, what, what, you, what make you know what Muhammad is? Like, oh, he must be some, he must be somebody. <laughs> so Allah, just to get our attention to it, he says, we sent it down later to Qadr. What is going to make you know what Laylatul Qadr is? Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahrin is better than a thousand months. Mean it's barakah. Not, it's not, it's not double. Like Laylatul Qadr, Laylatul Qadr is worth two nights. It's worth four nights. Fifty nights. No. Alfi shahr. Barakah. So you don't want to be preoccupied doing that time. No. So now during this blessed month, Barakallahu Fikum, during this blessed month, we want to obtain what Allah wants from us, from us song. So this question is in the in the Kiyakana, must look on the black book here. No, you no. What's your name? Here. What, does, what, does, what, does, what do you understand from fasting? What does sound mean? Getting closer to Allah. Okay. You, what's your name, Aki? On, on, the, on the pillar there. Asa. What does sound mean in Arabic? Sound. No problem. No problem. No problem. And the Khan, what's my country? Musa. I have to know everybody's name in the masjid. Labud. Labud. My memory is, is not like it used to be. No. Taya Musa, what does, what does song mean in the language of Arabic? Song. Taya Manuji, who's going to answer? Indik ya khan. Numiya bin. No. Taya, but what does that mean, fasting? Any. What does that mean, fasting? We, 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 we're not going to accept the, uh, we're not going to accept that word. Indik ya khana. Abstaining. Okay, Sheikh. Tayyip. It, it, it means imsak. Imsak means to refrain, to abstain. Uh -uh. Where is this taken from? Where, this, this, this comes from sort of, so to Maryam, we know the Qissa of Maryam, this righteous, righteous, pure woman. She went and she took a private place as a hijab, a private area by herself. And we know the Qissa, we know the story that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel and she was pregnant. Miraculously. Now, now she has a baby and she's going back to her village with a baby. It's going to be a problem. Now, it's going to be a problem. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to her, Fakuli, washrabi, waqarri aina. Eat and drink and don't worry about anything. Qarri aina. Be a total comfort. If you see anybody from mankind, فقولي, say to them, Inni nadartu للرحمن sawman. I have made an oath to Allah, sawman, to refrain, to abstain. فلن أكلم اليوم إنسيا. I'm not speaking to anybody. Hasan. She refrained from speaking. That was the, sound means what? To refrain. 
But Hassan wasn't on Akhlaba shirt for eating, drinking. Hassan was on what? From speaking. Dying. With that in mind, this is what the fasting is. But now the Muslim, naam, fi shahri Ramadan, fi ummati Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Muslim in the Uthman Muhammad, Saum, it still means to refrain. But he refrains and abstains from what? Ada su'aluna alayna. Mada yasum wa anhu and Muslim. What does the Muslim yasum an? So it, it doesn't do justice and I say, what does he fast from? The fast. Fast, that word doesn't do any justice whatsoever. It doesn't have any flavor. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Naam. What does he abstain from? That puts us in some type of idea of what's going on. Naam. Tayyab, so who's going to answer the question? Naam, what's more? Junaid. Hayakallah. Tayyab. Unfortunately, I'm very critical. I'm shady. And uh, I want an answer that. Everybody, if they hear that, they're going to understand. Nah, you have to be an answer that's specific, that's clear. Nah, that I don't have to ask, well, what are those things that nullify? I want a nice, clear answer that everybody is clear on. Nah, have your imagination. Just name some of the things that he refrains from. The Muslim, the Muslim, what does he refrain from? Can he play basketball while he's fasting? What's he refraining from? Can he can he get some nice oud oil and put it on, smell it? Then what's he refraining from? Can he open up the pot and smell the goat curry goat like that on purpose? <laughs> oh, that's permissible. Then what is he refraining from? From what? Name some of the things. Good. Start with that. Eating and drinking. He's going to refrain from it. He's going to stop it. He's going to see it, but he's not going to go to it. He's going to stop himself. And he normally eats. He's going to stop himself. What else? Sexual relations. Naam. 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 Son. His speech. Naam. He's going to watch his speech. Watch his speech. Because this is very important, and this is what we want to touch on. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, it comes from Hadith Abi Hurairah. As-sawmu junnah. Junnah means that it's a shield. It's a protection. It's a protection. Protection from what? From ma'asi. I mean, this, when you abstain, when you abstain like that, and you abstain from everything you're supposed to abstain from, this is your protection from ma'asi, from sins. It keeps you clear-headed. It keeps you on guard. Nah, -uh. It's a protection from you. In one of the narrations, it says, As-sawmu junna ka junnati ahadikum min al-qita'ah. Fasting is a shield, like the shield one of you have uses when he's in, in, in fighting. When he's fighting. Protect him from sword, protect him from spear. It's protect you from sins that harm you. Sins, sins they harm you. Nah. So you need protection. This protection that you have, that you need something before the sin actually hits you, you need a protection before it hits you. That's some. Some is you, you're already refraining. Staying away from everything that's not on. Okay? Now, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa says, as Jannah. Fasting, you're not going to do that word. That's not going to put justice on what we're talking about. Nah. Refraining nah, is a protection for your religion. For either can a soma yoma ahadikum fala yarfaf furiwaya la yasuk furiwaya la yaschab furiwaya la yajhal. He said, if this is the day of some of one of you, it's, if it's the day of refraining, 
if it's the day of abstaining from one of you, don't just do it with food and drink. La yarfuf, don't speak bad language. Riba, nah. Wala yafsuk, don't go outside obedience, don't sin. You, 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 you lost the purpose of, 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 your, of your fast. God, you lost the purpose of your fast. Could you imagine that you have something that's to shield you and cover you, and, and you blow that, you blow it. Could you imagine if a woman, she has on her jilbab, she's totally covered with her jilbab, and she has a hijab on, she's totally covered, right? She can't see anything. But she's outside in front of, every, in front of everybody, and she's dancing, and she's shaking her body all over, like, you blew the whole hijab. <laughs> you blew the hijab. That's not the point. Nuh-uh. You don't want to do that with your fast. You have your shield up and everything. You have it up. And you, it's supposed to protect you. And you're there doing what? You're speaking bad. You're going outside the limits. Nuh-uh. For one of why it says, Lai yaf I wonder why it says, Lai yas Don't argue. Don't raise your voice. It's refraining. You're refraining from all these things. Not just food or drink. Lai yas and one of the narrations is general. La your child. Don't act ignorant. All of that is ignorance. You're going to abstain from ignorance. Nah. And your food and your drink is going to remind you that you, you're fasting. Nah, you're fasting. It's going, to get, it's going to put you in the mood. It's going to put you in the mood. Nah, it's going to remind you for you. Nah. So this is what the fast is. Again, I'm just saying fast, but this is what fasting or siyam is abstaining from these things. Tayyip. If we understand that, barakallahu feekum, there's a hadith that comes in Bukhari from Hadith Abi Huraira. You all heard the hadith, but now we want to understand it more correctly. And the view sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called, Man lam yada qawl al-zur. والعمل به فليس لله حاجة أن يدع طعامه وشرابه. Whoever doesn't stop false statements and amal be and actions according to false statements, false statements and false actions, Allah is not in need for him to leave the food and drink. Allah is not in need for him to leave his food and drink. What does this hadith mean? Allah is not in need of anything. Nah. Allah is not in need of anything. You were supposed to leave food and drink, and you're supposed to watch your eyes, your ears, your tongue. You're supposed to leave all that stuff, and all you left was food and drink. You wasted your time. That's what it means. Allah is not in need of your food and drink. Allah does not need of your food and drink. You in need of these food and drink and everything else. That food and drink, <laughs> you, you, anta wama'ata ala al-fadi, wa ju'ata bila fa'ida, you went hungry for no reason. You went thirsty for, uh, wasting your time. You're going to get a little reward now. Not that the fast is totally null and void, but you, you for lesson like I just don't think that you did something because you left food and drink. Allah's not needed that. You're supposed to be abstaining from all these things. Whoever doesn't leave a false statements and false actions is not, it's like what? It's not fasting. It's easy to leave off the food and drink. Like it's not fasting. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us from Shahri Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayuha ladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyam, O you who believe. I want you all to translate for me. Kutiba alaykum asiyam, kutiba. What does kutiba mean? Who's going to answer? Ya Muslim. Kutiba alaykum, kutiba. And again, Muhammad. It has been written, it's been written, been described for you. Asiyam. This is where we at. Kutiba alaykum asiyam. What has been written on you? Who's going to say fast and socket? Poke him in his chest and pull his ear and 
pull him by his lip. <laughs> right. Could you imagine here that has been fasting has been written down for you like fasting? What does that mean, fasting? It doesn't penetrate. It doesn't go anywhere. It's been fasting. Don't say that word. No, don't say that word. Say abstaining has been prescribed for you all. That's a different meaning. Like has been prescribed for those before you. That abstain has been prescribed for you so that you might increase in your tampua. Like, ah, oh, now it makes sense. Right. 30 days. I keep doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this until I, I get like a capability. I get a strength. It's called taqwa. It's called taqwa. It's a strength. It's a capability to do what? Stay away from mercy. We differ in it. We differ in this thing that's called taqwa. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaqum. The best of you with Allah are the ones that what? Have the most taqwa. Ty, where are you going to get this from? Is, is there, where, where do you get it from? You just say subhanAllah 30 times and you just got it like that. You buy it. If somebody's low in taqwa, they can go buy some. Where's it come from? All of it's from Allah? So where do you get it from if you don't have it? You have to go to the, the time and the places where this is obtained. Allah prescribed this for taqwa. So, when Ramadan comes, everybody's at the gate. Everybody's at the gate. And the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, kullu nasin yaqdu. Kullu nafsin, kullu nasin yaqdu. A kullu nafsin taqdu. Fabayyu'u nafsa. Everybody in the morning, they move out. They move out in the morning. This one's going over there, that one's over there, that one's doing this business, that one's over there. They, 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 they sell their souls. Some of them, they, 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 they sell it for what Allah has to offer. They sell their souls for what Allah has to offer. They save it for now. And some of it, they sell their souls to what shaitan has to offer, and they destroy it. In another narration by Ka'b ibn Ujra, Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قال, Ya Ka'b ibn Ujra, Anasu qadiyani. All the people, they're just two of them, qadiyani. Ghudwa, qadi, means that they go out in the morning. Everybody goes out first thing in the morning. There's only two kinds, Anas qadiyani. When he buys himself, he buys his soul with good deeds. One guy buys his soul and he frees it. That one sells his soul to shaitan and he destroys it. He destroys it. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in his book, Inna Allah ashtara min al Allah has bought from the believers their souls and their money and for them is Jannah. You give your soul up to Allah, He gives you Jannah. Yeah. Oh, you believe, should I sell you a tijara, a trade? A trade. This trade is going to save you from the health. Buying and selling in Islam it has rules and regulations. Buying and selling is tabad, that you trade two things. That's what a buying and selling is, trade two things. Naam. Nobody's money is permissible except that he's pleased with it. Like I can't just come and take your shoes and take this $50, this is mine. Oh, you have to be, there has to be a change and you're pleased. An exchange and you're pleased. You have to be pleased. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hal adulukum ala tijara? Should I show you a tijara, a trade that's going to save you from the hellfire? You're like, well, ah, 
what, what do we have to give up? Tu'minuna billahi wa rasuli. Believe in Allah, worship in Allah. Follow his message in Muhammad. Wa tujahiduna fi sabili Allah bi amwalikum wa anfusikum. Struggle in the cause of Allah with your wealth and in your soul. This is the time for you to teach the hafi nafsik that you work hard in yourself. Refrain it, refrain it, refrain it. Uh -huh. Take your soul, bi'ha lillah, sell it to Allah. Allah is kareem. When you send it to his own, it's kareem. He's generous. He's going to give you a good price. All that stuff you want for your nephew, she like this, she like that, she like this, she wants this, she likes to have that. Give it for Allah. Allah is kareem. Allah is generous. Allah is shaq. He's appreciative. If you do a little something for him, it's Allah going to give you. But and Ramadan's at the door. Everybody's on the line. You see all the horses that they're on that line when they drop that thing. Everybody's, they're gone. Time when Ramadan comes, everybody's gone. Some people are running. Some people might start off slow, but they might finish the race first, like the tortoise and the hare. Some people might run out burning. No, -uh. but you have to. You have to gauge yourself. You have to understand what does Allah want from you in Ramadan. Before you jump out of that gate and you start running and moving and making all these moves, what does Allah want from you in Ramadan? The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, waqtuna qaseer, time is short. Shaykh ibn Humayd, qal ya Rasulullah alim ni dua. Adu'ubi. Shaykh ibn Humayn said, Oh, my son, Allah, teach me a dua that I can make dua. Qala qul, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min sharri sam'i wa min sharri basri wa min sharri qalbi wa min sharri lisani wa min sharri maniyi Hakadha qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, say, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the evil of my eyes and from the evil of my hearing evil of my tongue, and the evil of my heart, and the evil of my sperm. Nah, -uh. You have to keep these things in check. Nah, -uh. This is the place. Nah, -uh. These are the place. Nah. -uh. It's this. Nah. -uh. Sometimes we, we speak and it's just a little too general. We say, sabr, ikhlas. Hold on. You talk about hold on to the sunnah, What do you mean hold on to the sunnah? You can't just tell somebody New brother coming to the masjid, he might have a problem, he might still be in jihadi. Like, you need to hold on to the sunnah. Tayyip, you need to specify that for him a little bit more so he can understand. Nah, -uh. you need to be a little more clear. Nah, -uh. for Nurida Nakhtam, be hadith anis, for who is Sahih Muslim. قبل هذا الله سبحانه وتعالى يقول إن الشيطان لكم عدو فاتخذوه عدو شيطان is to you an enemy take him as an enemy شيطان he's coming he's throwing rocks at you he's busting you upside your head you just go yo he keep hitting me yo he's bothering me no you better fight back what you gonna do when شيطان come to you jump on your face he all up in your ears what you gonna do Catch you right when you wake. He know where you at. He's waiting. Yatara baslat. He's waiting for you. Punk you out. Ah, he gonna punk you out. He done punked us all out. When we make doubt. Nah. He takes you as an enemy. Take him as an enemy too. Wait and lay for him. Nah, get him. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. لما صور الله آدم when Allah fashioned Adam our father تركه في الجنة ما شاء الله أن يتركه he left him in Jannah as long as he wanted to leave him حديث أنس في صحيح مسلم جعل إبليس يطيف به شيطان إبليس started going around ينظر ما هو looking at him what is this creation what is he فلما رآه أجوف when he saw that he was ajwaf, 
that he wasn't just one solid thing, but he had tunnels. He was hollow inside. Arafa anahu khuliqa khalqan la yatamalak. He knew that he was created a creation. He doesn't control himself. He gets upset. He gets sad. I got you. I got you. I just get him upset. I just get him sad. I just get him arrogant. I just get, he just get a little something. I act like he's he the biggest man just because he got a car. Uh-uh. He's arrogant. Uh-uh. What does this mean? ajwaf. That he has, he, he's ajwaf. He has tunnels. Joph is a tunnel. He has tunnels that lead to his heart. That make him sad. You might hear something. He just busts out crying. Like, what happened? You may hear something. You start laughing. You might see something, scared to death. You might be mentally ill after you just see something. Uh -uh. When Shaitan saw that he was Ajwaf, and he has pipelines and tunnels that lead to his heart, I got him! One of these pipelines, your eyesight, your hearing, straight to your heart. Straight to your heart. Smell on your nose, taste on your tongue. Yeah, you like the way that tastes, nah. -uh. And your skin. Your five senses. I got you. I'm going to get you right where your weak spot is. That goes right to your heart. Yeah. You, I know what you like. Nah, he knows. So this is what the wiqaya is on. Nah. Kutiba alaykum siyam. Refraining has been put on you. Prescribed for you. What are you going to refrain from? You're going to taqillah fi hadihi al-majawi. You're going to fear Allah in these five senses. Nah, -uh. what you listen to, what you look at, what you say, even what you intend, what you think about. Nah, -uh. some of the the noob, the the noob, anil qalb from the heart. Not loving your brother, what you love for yourself. Nah, -uh. makr, plan, plot, hating. Some of us, and the time has come, some of us, we might dislike somebody, so something doesn't even make sense. I don't like the way that brother look. The way he walk, look like he, he, like he all that. No, it's just the way the brother look. Look, 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 look how he look. Look, why, why is, he, he, look how he stand like, like, you know, like he want to do something. No, that's in your head, man. What's wrong with you? Nah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid us in that together nah. it's not but a day or two days when that gate opens we're going to go through a trial we're going to know that all we, I just got through this day tomorrow's another day we just get through that day if we tripped up we make towel we turn it to a lot we clean it up we clean up what we spilled clean it up right there and then we're going to move on and then hopefully at the end of the month a new person we achieved what Allah wanted from us سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك طيب ان شاء الله الله اكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله حي
training and uh, rectification for the soul. Nah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains that this soul is affected by certain things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, by nafsin wa ma sawaha. Allah swears by the nafs and he swears by the one who fast fashioned the nafs, many himself. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Allah inspired and taught the nafs فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا The soul, it knows that which harms it from sins and that which enhances it from taqwa. It knows. For example, if somebody took a bottle of soap or bottle of ammonia and started drinking it, it's gonna reject it. The, the body's not gonna accept it. Stomach knows, like, hold on, that's something wrong. That's not food. Nah. Same thing, your nafs. Your nafs, it knows that which is halal to you when you're looking at it, when you listen to it, when you're doing the obedience. Obedience enhances it. And haram, it harms it. Allah alhamaha. Ilham means Allah inspired it like that. Allah inspired everything on a natural disposition. For the ants, they know that what they have to do. The bees, they know what they have to do. You see a bee? A bee doesn't go around urine and defecation. He's, he's an honorable dude. A bee, he's honorable. He has integrity. He's, he's up there. You don't do that. My family, we just go around sugar and sweet stuff. We don't, we don't do that. The fly, it's a low dude. Ain't no good. He's low. He doesn't have that kind of integrity and honor. He doesn't have it. The bee, who do you think is more honorable, an ant or a roach? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and a roach, man, it's, it's a roach. The name, his name don't even sound good. <laughs> no. Top, your nafs knows. It's like a bee knows. He knows what hive is. He has to go out. He knows the flowers that he has to go to. He knows the nectar that he has to go to. Allah created it like that. Now, just like a child when he's born, 
The child is born ignorant. Only thing he knows how to do is cry when he's hungry and suckle and, and, and drink. Allah created like that. Does he need any lessons? Nah. -uh. Allah created your soul that he knows the haram. And the haram, it affects it. Show with him. It changes it. Nah. -uh. And the good, it enhances it. You can't say, nah, I don't see that's haram. Nah, nah, I, I, I don't think that's haram. Your nephew knows. Your nephew knows. You better be in accordance before Allah. You can play all the games you want and say, well, you know what, some of the shake, well, when you see, well, logically, that logically, nah, you can do all that all you want. Nah. If, if the nephew could talk, if it could talk, it will look at, at you and say, yo, you making me sick. Yo, you, 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 you at the opportunity, you made me tired. You, you draining me out. If you can speak. Yo, how long are you going to do this? You making me sick. I'm going, I'm going to leave you. I'm tired. I'm going to lose it. It's, it's telling us that. I'm going to lose it. And he loses it on us. Because nah. you push down it on top of all stuff that's harmony. Making it sick. Nah. So this is a month. You purify yourself. Give it a break. Nah. If the nephew could talk, she'll look, look up and go, that's my boy. That's my man. Get ahead with yourself. Now, nah, because she, she feels comfortable when you make dua. Nah -uh. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The, the, the ulama explained that this dua is the meaning of the verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he inspired it with its fujur, it knows the fujur. Alhamma he inspired it, it knows it. Wa taqwaha, it knows the taqwa. Qada aflaha man zakkaha. Allah after that he says it's successful, the one that purified his soul. I mean with obedience. He, this is his soul. This is his soul. This harms it and this enhances it. Naam. He purified his soul. He gave it everything that it needed and kept away from it everything that harmed it. And if something happened, he made doubt and cleaned it up. And he's destroyed the one who covers himself. Dasaha means to cover it with ma'asi. We see some people that they cover themselves with ma'asi. Even their shape and everything changes. Ain't that Miss Jones' son? Look at him, man. His, his face changed. His skin tone changed. His language changed. His lips changed. And me, me and my brother, we used to look at people and we used to say, this guy, he has whiskey lips. Because we see the discoloring, the, 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 the liquor discolors their face and it changes their whole demeanor. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, Allahumma aati nafsi taqwa. Allah, give my soul its taqwa. Nah. Not, not your hands, not your pockets. Nah. Not your eyes, you might need glasses. Type, that's all good. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwa. Give my soul its taqwa. Wazakiha and purify it. You are the best one to purify this soul. And this is what Ramadan is. It's that time to purify that soul. Time. Go out to all the people out there. Yeah, what's up, man? Right now it's 9 o'clock at night. Do you think you can find some people outside jogging right now at this time of night to stay in shape? Right. They jog at night at the gym, right? They do all that. They have to think for the biceps, right? For the triceps, for your chest, for the stomach, for their thigh. What do they have for the soul? What I show you. What do you get for the kidnaps? <laughs> what are you going to do for your soul? What you Hello? I mean, you got to think even for your back. You get your back most straight. Some of them get their neck. They get their neck nice and fat, good and strong. Like, what's the fire? What's the benefit in a strong neck? Just in case one day you fall off a ladder on your head. <laughs> now 
this is the time, this is, this is the way that you purify your soul. What, what would matter? Some people, yeah, ikhwati fillah. Some people, we know them. They might lose a foot because of sugar diabetes, may lose some toes, and they have a blessed life. They have their loved. Some people lose a kidney, right? Some people lose an eye. Some people lose both their, their, their sight and their love. What if you lose your mind? What if you lose your nephew? Find somebody, lost their mind, and he's happy. He's murdered. How the unfus now is the best thing you have. That's all you have. That's all you have. People have lost their eyes. Prophets have lost their, their sight. Yaqub alayhi salatu wa salam. People have lost blood. Yeah, blood, you only have a certain amount of blood. People have lost blood, have to get more blood. People have lost limbs, organs. Listen, all oh, that ain't nothing compared. It's nothing compared to your mind. If you lose your mind, you lost everything. You lost everything. So nobody will go to their refrigerator they have in the refrigerator some fish that's been in there four months. That's spoiled. <laughs> Nobody will go open up that container and, and just smell all that smell up like that in their nose, right? But they will look at something haram, more filthier than some fish. Or listen to something dirtier than some fish. Just open up their ears and just pour all in my head. Or open up your eyes and just pour all in. Nah, that's your nerves. Yo, you, you better off go smelling some rotten fish. You probably just throw up. But if you contaminate your, your, your nerves, who can guarantee that's going to come back? Nah. Tell you, we're going to end with this question. Who here doesn't know somebody that lost their mind? I'm not saying who does know somebody. Who here doesn't know anybody that lost their mind? This is something that's frequent now. This, not, not, now it's more than ever. Mental illness? Oh, man. Young, old, black, white, male, female. It, it's just on the poor black man. The rich people, they're losing their mind also. Everybody! If, if you lose your mind, how are you doing? So what's it going to keep it in check? What's going to keep it in place? فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Allah gave your mind, He made it know what's good and what's bad. You have to it. You have to conform with what the Lord of the world, the one who created, the one who fashioned that soul and made it the way that it is, the best thing you can do for yourself. Respect yourself. Respect your mind. The best thing you can do is conform with Allah. Be mercy on yourself. Kun Habib, be your main man. Kun Sahib, be your own partner. Some of us, our fathers love us more than us. Or your wife loves you more. You need to leave that alone. Hey boy, leave that alone. He loves you more than you love your own self. Is that what it is? Come on, Benay, stop doing that. Now, they, they love us more than we love our own selves. Na'am, kun habibak. Be your beloved man. Be that one that loves you. Kun sahibak. Ihtaram nafsak. Kun aziz. Oh, no. I don't listen. I don't do, I'm not going to disrespect myself like that. I don't do that. Not me. I'm, I'm vocal khawsa. I'm above the trees. I'm way up there. In, in, in my in, in, in my atiqadat, in my beliefs, in my value system, in my morals, there's a word that I don't know if it's still in the East section in the dictionary. It's called ethics. Ra. It, it, it changed to ethnicity. And they just, they just use the word like that and they just changed it. That's not ethnicity. This is ethics. Values. We don't do that. Bake such and such, our, our, our family? Boy, listen, don't take off your pants like that. We don't do that. Watch, wait, we don't do that. In this house, 
We don't do that. We have morals. We have integrity. Nah. And this is, this is who you are. You are what you do and what you don't do. That's what you are. That's all you are. What you do and what you don't do. A Muslim, if he had a don't do list, it would be a list. He can write that. Yeah, I don't do that. That's haram. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. He has a list. Give us a kafir. What's your don't do list? You don't park on that side of the street on Saturday. What else? <laughs> you know, I do what I want to do. Yo, dude. I ain't a slave to nobody. I do what I want to do. Yo. Oh. Muslim, he has a do's and don'ts list like that. Because he has limitations and he has restrictions that makes him Aziz, makes him upright, makes him honorable. Uh -uh. For us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make this a month, that for us. Keep our eyes on the prize. This is what we want. We want to make dua. When you're in sujood, make dua. It doesn't have to be in English. Ask Allah for what you want. Nah. So, Max, I, I imagine if you ask Allah for ta'a and khasha to make you have taqwa. If Allah made you obedient and you was an obedient servant, do you think he's not going to feed you? Do you think he's not going to answer your dua? Just imagine if he was that obedient servant. You think Allah is kareem, he's generous, he's wadud, he's loving, he's merciful. You're his faithful servant. You think he's going to wait until you ask for it? It's just, just from his benevolence and his graciousness. So we help one another with that. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid us all in fast in Ramadan. There we go with that word again, fast in Ramadan. And abstaining this month and, 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 and refraining from that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to refrain from. And hopefully that, that will enrich our souls and makes us stronger believers. And then get rid of the filth that we have in our, in our souls. Get rid of it, make us dislike it and abandon it totally. 30 days, like a 30 day boot camp. 30 days boot camp for your soul. So I can be right back in line. SubhanAllah, I'm going to be right back in line. I'm going to be right back in line. الله أكبر الله أكبر شد لا إله إلا الله شد أن محمد الرسول الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استو أقيموا صفوفكم صلاة الصوم الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعم Lil.
لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علي كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين الله
سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله لمن حمده الله 